Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, we are here in my fancy dance test level and we have a constellation that can't fly. And unfortunately, this is a bug that I introduced. Well, how this happened and why? Nobody knows. No, I know. Um, I added a feature a little bit ago that allows you to get out of the seat and the engines will remain on. Your thrusters will still be there, so if you set the cruise mode, you could get out of your ship, walk around, and your ship will still be flying forward. Um, before in the past, we couldn't do that because the way that the legacy items worked, um, the on and use were connected. So you, if a player sat down in a seat, he used it, therefore it was on. That was the linked connection. On item 2.0, we have separated this, so use and turning on and off, completely different. And all we had to do was introduce this to the thrusters, change a little bit of code in the vehicle code, and now when you turn on the engines, they'll stay on, so I could get out of my ship, go make some coffee, my ship will keep going straight. Um, but unfortunately, um, this broke the a lot of, pretty much 90% of the ships. You know, and it's one of those things where I tested three ships. And of those three ships, only they worked. Everything else was broken. I tested the M50, tested the, um, the Gladius, and I tested the Cutlass, and they worked. So the code went in, and then, oh my god, everything blocker, everything on fire because ships couldn't fly. Why did that happen? I'll show you. Uh, so here we have this thing called a flight controller. Um, in our fun little hierarchy, you have the ship, which has this control manager. It has a bunch of controllers that dictate control over items. And when you take control of this specific controller, which is the flight controller, you have control of the thrust, you have control of the engines, you could fly the ship. And I had to change a bit of code in here to allow you to continue flying and get out of the ship. But unfortunately, I forgot one bit of code. Um, when you sit down, you get this call for start use, and then when you leave, you get this call to get removed. And what I forgot to do was when the player sits down, um, let's go to the interface. Whee! Here's our player. Uh, where are you? We have these two things called enable disabled action handlers. So I'm always supposed to re add this code to enable action handler flight controller action handler and what is this this is the thing that turns on specific actions so if I hit buttons the spaceship could hear and listen to since I didn't turn it on you never got the controls to well move the ship and if I scroll back to where I was I should re-enable this guy And of course, Recode never likes my name. There we go. So I gotta enable the hash. And then when we're done, we gotta make sure we disable the controls. We shouldn't be able to have the spaceship listening to your fun little controls when you're walking around. So we'll hit Recode, give it a try, and see what happens. Recode is finished. Now we have to get out of the ship and back into the ship and crash everything. We crashed because, ah, uh, this is the beauty. I, this is actually a logical crash. <laughs> what happened was I added, woo, come on. Gotta wait for Visual Studio to figure itself out. All right, so I added this bit of code here to disable the action handler but it wasn't enabled in the beginning because I added the code and recompiled the game. And because I disabled it, the game crashed because it was like, wait a minute, you're trying to turn this off, but I was never on to begin with, oh, and it dies. So we're gonna or code it again, go back in the game and see what happens. Uh, I think the thing that best summarizes this is this awesome picture found on the internet. When one thing breaks, everything breaks.
Womp, womp, womp. All right, we're back in the game. Whee! Do. Okay, back in the game, we are going to now sp ah, spawn a cutlass. Whee! Make sure we're able to fly around. Yeah, we could fly, everything's good. Then we'll spawn ourselves a constellation. And ha ha, we're flying. Whee! There we go. Everything's good. Everything's sound. We're able to fly again. And we can get out of the seat and let the ship continue to fly as it pleases. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Shazam. Oh, the fun times when you add a new feature like, oh, I want to be able to get out of the ship and the thrusters are still on. So you check it in because you tried it on the three ships and then all, what happens? It breaks because you didn't check every other ship. And it was just one of those silly things where I forgot to add one line and then everything worked. Ah, one of those days. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.